Hey guys, what's up? For this Valentine's, I will show you guys how I made Rose du Song, a bouquet-inspired doll. So for this project, I'm actually going to be using Elsa from Hasbro as a base because I wanted her to really have a pale um, skin tone to contrast well with all of the reds that she's going to have. So first I'm going to cut off her hair um, because she doesn't need it. And like I said, it's so satisfying. You guys have to try it. I don't know why. It's really weird, but it really is. Then after that, I'm going to remove Elsa's factory paint with acetone or nail polish remover. Using the essential materials listed down below and also here on screen, I will then give her her new face. So I wanted to revitalize a concept art I created in high school which is the same time I created the chicken girl um, design and this character is supposed to be a kind of like a rose inspired character who embodies all of the traits of a rose. I wanted the character to have an aloofness feel to her but all of the dolls I had access to had smiling faces. So my attempt at giving her the aloof look was not working out and I decided to turn my focus and just make her a kawaii inspired looking doll um, which pretty much she's going to be like a shy flower. So this doll is actually part of a huge Valentine's um, collaboration with fellow doll lovers here on YouTube like Delightful, Moonlight Jewel, Mizakito, and also Seasonal Frostbite. And we all made our own interpretation of Valentine's and it's really really fun and really really exciting. It was so fun to work with every single one of them. Everyone was so motivated and helpful of each other. I will show you guys at the very end of this video a group photo of all of our dolls coming together, coming to life for Valentine's Day. And don't forget to subscribe to every single one of them because they are awesome and so cool. And the links on their channel will be down below. I really wanted to have a monochromatic look for this doll just by using shades of red but I decided to give her black eyeliner cause I know her costume will drown her face if it's all one color. And this is how her final face looks. I'm quite pleased with the look since it's quite rare for me to draw really really big eyes. For her hair, I'm going to use these red pom-poms to build a foundation and I'm going to use flowers to decorate her hair. So I actually forgot to gloss her eyes and lips so I am doing that now. And these uh, flowers I just got from the dollar store and I'm just putting it on randomly as I want. There's no initial design for this. And I got this piece of heart too because, you know, it is Valentine's Day and why not? I'm also going to be using the petals for her body. I wanted her to have like a fairy look. So looking through fairy images or even watching Tinkerbell the movie should really really help. And it did actually. Thank you. 
Since her skin looks so bare, I wanted to try and give her tattoos. And this was inspired by the blue and white china vases that everyone collects pretty much in the olden days until now. And um, those were so detailed, but they had a really, really clean feel to them. And obviously this is not going to be blue and white, it's red and white. And I thought I just wanted to mimic the style of it. And the painting of the roses is still very, very minimal and very clean. I'm also taking the Hasbro Bell shoes because it has a rose on it and I'm just going to paint it red. And after playing around with the details and tweaking the paint and all of that, we are officially done with our flower girl. And I think she looks quite lovely. I really, really do love the aesthetic that she has going on. She actually looks like a character from Alice in Wonderland or even Tinkerbell. Like she can be like a, a rose fairy or something. Um, she only needs wings. But I am quite pleased with this doll. I really really do love the tattoos on her thighs as well. I thought that's quite well and I hope you guys like it. And don't forget to check out these awesome dolls down below.